Welcome back guys, my name is Koboman and in this video I want to talk about Windows 10 and what has changed as opposed to for example Windows 7 and I you know realizing that you know a lot of people are switching from Windows 7 to Windows 10 um, in some cases it's it even it's even different from Windows 8 for example so I just wanted to go of over um, some things that you uh, may notice that are totally different from Windows 7 Okay, so the first thing we've noticed here that is our start button looks quite a bit different. So let's go ahead and select that and see well, what else, what is different here as opposed to Windows 7. So once we click on that, uh, we notice that we don't have the usual um, um, applications bar that usually comes up here. So you would have a column basically with listed of list of folders, list of um, different, um, different. First of all, it'd be some shortcuts just like here, but it would be like most like most common pinned shortcuts that would be located here. But underneath, normally there would be files and folders um, of different programs that are installed and different shortcuts to them. Okay, but now we have this thing. So in order to see our programs, let's go ahead and start from that. We would select here where it says all apps. So if you left click on that, you'll notice the hugest, uh, the, the, uh, the, the biggest difference, I should say, as opposed to previous version of Windows. So if we select that, now we have our programs alphabetically listed. So as you can see here, it, you know, it starts from, uh, from you know, zero to nine and then um, A to Z, right? From A to Z, you know, I guess it would depend on your uh, on your build. If you're a different country, of course, it will be starting from whatever the first letter of your alphabet is all the way to the last. And that's how you would look for these programs. So for example, if you're looking for a uh, calculator, you will look under C. So C, C calculator, C calendar, C camera, and so on. And then, you know, if you scroll down, it will go all the way down to um, last available program for that um, for that section but let's say you're trying to get to it really quick without having to go through this you would just leave that this out let me just close this real quick so when you click start you can just type in whatever that you're looking for so it says here where it says search the web and windows you can simply just type in if you remember the name of the program or software that you're trying to find so um, for example let's type in calculator right See how the first thing comes up is a calculator. So this is how it is majority of the time for Windows 10. This is the quickest way of, of you know finding your way around it. So if you just type in CAL, of course it's gonna you know come up with the first things that start with that. If you really want to be very specific and just literally type in calculator and hit enter and it would pull it up, or you can just select it right up here. As you can tell, it you know pulled up anything that starts with CA, for example, calendar as well. So. Um, so if, you, if you want to be more precise, like I said, you can just fully type in the name of it and just hit enter and it would pull it up. In my case, I just clicked on it and the calculator comes up. Now let's go back to this window again. You can see that some of the uh, mostly used shortcuts are already here, you know. Um, so this is exactly what you would see when you initially install it, okay. Uh, another big difference is, um, well, first of all, you have File Explorer here. All of this is just pulls up, you know, your file file explorer right this is self-explanatory right it just pulls up this window and this is um, this is what you have okay so when you close that second thing is settings if you left click on that you go to the settings and this is quite different from what we're used to right um, okay so this is what what what's there and if you click on power this gives you different options sleep shutdown restart so those are the major differences power button used to be uh, right here so it would be right here, it used to be, you know, right next to the next, you know, start button, if you will. Uh, but now it's here. But um, alternatively, and I don't want to go too much in detail of this, if you want to see sub-menus or, or different alternative uh, things that come up, uh, when you hover over these, if you just right-click it, right? You can see how it gives you different options, right? So same thing, anything you can right-click. And here, it gives you different options. For example, pin to start bar, pin to task bar, and you can certainly do that. So if you pin to task bar, um, see it'll, it'll appear right there, you see that? And then if you right click it again, you can unpin it. So that's a, that's, you know, this is, um, this is what was in, in the other, in the previous version of Windows as well, but um, this is, um, it's, it's done the same way in this version. Okay, so the last major thing that's that has changed here is that you have a few different things here, right? Uh, this is something we haven't seen before, but uh, you, you can create basically tabs of different things that you're interested in. You see how you can actually drag 
and, and move this around. Uh, let me just show you how this works actually. You can actually expand this and add your own pins to it. So, and move them around. Okay, so if I wanted to move calendar, see how this box shortcut calendar is right here, you can actually move it around to the next one. So if you want it to be under that tab, you can move it there where it says play and explore, or you can move the entire tab over and just do it like that. And you can have a lot of tabs open, you know, and then you can just, um, depending on what's there, you can even expand it. You can Let's swap these out here. Uh, let's move our calendar back. It's very simple. You just drag and drop. If you move this one here, that's fine too. You can kind of customize it, you know. And I think there is a limit of how many you can have within one box. I'm not entirely sure. You just feel free to play around and figure that out. But it's actually pretty cool. So, I mean, you can do the same thing here. If you want to, for example, uh, move alarms and clock, you can do that too. See, so if it's right here, you can just drag and drop that here too. So that's pretty cool here. And if you want, for example, shortcut to uh, maps. Let me see if I, do we already have maps in here? No, it doesn't look like we do. So let's go ahead and drag maps in here, right? So drag maps and there you have it. Then you can customize, you can create a new one too. So let's go ahead and drag people. Do we have drag people in here? Uh, I don't see it. So let's go ahead and create a new one and just drag it down here. And you see how automatically actually create a new group for you and you can rename it and let's call it social, right? Social tab. And then we have another tab and then within this tab you can move more stuff so let's go move skype to our social tab right and you know everything everything that you like um or anything that you you know have a personal preference to you can certainly uh, drag and drop and you can see how some of them have really cool animations so that's really cool okay uh, thank you very much guys for watching in my next video i'm going to go over in, in in detail of what some of these other some of these features within this tab actually do and if if they're useful or not and you know you can look forward to that um, as well but also talk about um, cortana cortana is basically a voice recognition software built by microsoft and in my opinion it works works pretty good you know considering how um, voice recognition is, is I don't want to say it's new technology, but it there were always issues with that type of stuff. Okay, thank you, thank you again for watching. Please share my video with friends and family. If you like it, please like it. Leave a comment if you if if you'd like, and then I'll see you next time. Okay, bye bye.